John Higman, Facebook's head of newsfeed, stumbled through an answer about how just being false doesn't violate the community standards, and how InfoWars was a publisher with a different point of view. Facebook has contracted with dozens of fact-checking organizations around the world, if its fact-checkers determined that a specific InfoWars story was false, people would be allowed to share it with their friends, but Facebook would push it so far down in everyone's feeds that most of them would not see it. That was when Monica Bickert, Facebook's vice president of global policy management, showed up at a congressional hearing along with other social media executives to answer questions about whether they may be biased against conservatives. In the hearing, Ms. Bickert apologized to Diamond and Silk, two pro-Trump social media stars who had claimed they were treated unfairly by Facebook. Then came Mr. Zuckerberg's comments to Ms. Swisher on Wednesday about Holocaust denialism, and the question about what Facebook would or would not allow on its site became even more confusing.